bust a boyfriend or a girlfriend. As a guy, the only conversation they have is let's plan the next holiday. Which girl is the hottest girl in the church? Which, which, which type of football team is the best? You don't cease building a good work to be involved in such conversations. He said, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should there are some associations it causes you to step down instead of going up? My wife patients will tell you, my friendship ends where we meet. I'm so nice where we meet, that's where it ends. You're not coming to my house. I'm not coming to your house. We are not going to eat. When we meet where we meet, we are so nice. By the time we are done, it's over. Single mindedness. Many years back, I had this cousin who was also a pastor. And then we were in a meeting, and this guy started convincing me. Ah, you know. Is when I meet with my pastoral friends, we drink alcoholic wine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, he, in, 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 in the Jewish culture, when they meet on the Shabbat, you know, they drink wine. Even Paul was speaking to Timothy in reference to, by the time I finished, my appetite for wine from nowhere was almost arousing. Because a pastor friend of mine had told me that when the congregation of pastors drink meet, they don't leave without drinking wine. From that, I knew that that guy is my cousin, but that's the last time you hear from him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord God Almighty. And by the grace of God, it's the last time he has heard from me. Some people are going down. They are looking for people to drag with them. You see, when you are failing, it becomes less painful if others are failing. Don't become somebody's, you know, don't become the tool somebody wants to drag down to feel good about themselves. He said, why should I come down? Destruction by association. Continue. Why should I come down to you? But they send this message for a time. The devil doesn't give up. Even Jesus, the Bible says, and he left him to come again at the opportune time. The devil is bad. You are the one who gives up quickly. He said, They sent me this message four times, and I answered in the same manner. Single minded. May you be single-minded. I said, may you be single-minded. Let's continue. Let's continue. I want us to read a bit further. Then Sambalat his servant said, send the servant to me as before, the fifth time with an open letter in his hand. Continue. So it was written in this letter, it is reported among the nations, destruction, right? The next one, destruction by gossip. Have you heard? Have you heard? I don't have ears. I'm deaf. I don't hear. The first one was invitation. No, he didn't come. He said, now they sent a letter that said it was written and it is reported among. I, I, I was, I was, I was one of my, one of my, you know, one of the older men in this in this in this city that I love love so much Reverend Allen not Allen Kaiko but Reverend Allen our, our Reverend Allen he I, the first day he met me he said he said I was in the house and some pastors were there and they were talking about you and the way they were talking about you was so bad that I just decided when I get home that I would go and watch this guy they are talking about just to draw my own conclusions. He said, it was when I went there to go and, and just watch you that I said, ah, this thing is not that this guy is bad. These people are just jealous of him. So he said, now they are, they, they are mad because they recognize that the guy who was speaking about to him, he and him 
are working together. One of the ways we get men distracted is to speak about it. He said, it is reported among the nations. Some of you, you want to stop what you are building because it is reported among your friends. It is reported among your community. It is rep- I-, I told you that on TikTok, somebody wrote KAC cult. You've seen it there. And there's no video for it. They've created the hashtag waiting for the video to happen. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Look, we don't even see what is happening. Our mind is focused on the great work we are building. We will not come down. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? He said, it is reported among the nations. And Geshem says that you and the Jews plan to rebel. Have you ever heard some things about yourself and you say, me? You and the people plan to rebel. Therefore, according to these rumors, According to this remorse, you are rebuilding the wall that you may be their king. Look at what Nehemiah would say. And you have also appointed prophets to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem, saying, There's a king in Judah. Now these matters will be reported to the king. So come therefore, let us consult together. In other words, dear, now they try to get Nehemiah to come. He didn't come. They want to get him down by fear. Come together and let us consult together. The verse number said, Then I sent to him saying, No such things as you say have been done. But you invent them in your own heart. Can I tell you something? 90% of the things being said about you is invented. You didn't hear what I said. I said 90% of the things being said about you is invented. It does not exist. Don't be distracted. Distraction by gossip. That's why Elisha will say to the sons of the prophets, keep quiet, keep silent, shut up. I'm not interested. Look at this. Go ahead. For they were all trying to make us afraid, saying, their hands will be weakened in their work. In other words, rumors and gossips can weaken your hands. Petra, have you ever heard something about yourself? that all of a sudden it's like your soul was running away from your body. Jesse, have you heard that thing before? Somebody, there was rumor that almost made you weak. Their hands will be weakened in the work and it will not be done. What we have started, we will finish. And look at what Nehemiah says. Now therefore, oh God, strengthen my hand. It means Nehemiah was being weak. He did not channel his energy in replying. He used it to pray. Lord, sustain my focus. Strengthen my hands. I'm feeling weak, but keep me focused. Continue. Afterward, you see the enemy doesn't stop. He came and said the same things four times. Then he sent a letter from another one to come and bring rumors. He said, and afterwards, I came to the house of Shemaiah, the son of of. Deliah, the son of Mehitabel, who was a secret informer, and he said, let us meet together in the house of God. The first invitation, let's meet together and eat. The other invitation, let's meet together in the house of God. You, everything called church, you are in. Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple. And let us close the doors of the temple. Communion, koinonia. For they are coming to kill you. Indeed, at night they will come to kill you. Continue. And I said, should a man such as I run away? May God give you that boldness. Oh my goodness. Any time I've been faced with things that I have the capacity, that has the capacity to threaten my life, I consciously remind myself, I am stronger than them. And he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I remind of myself that those that are for us are more than those who are. He said, shall a man such as I flee? 
And who is there? Such as I who would go into the temple to save his life. I would not go in. May God give us the stubbornness of Nehemiah. Destruction by association. Destruction by gossip. Continue. Then I perceived that God had not sent him at all. But the pronouncement, the pronoun, but he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobiah and Sambalat had hired him. The third one is what I call the spiritual distraction. It's when people distract you by that says the Lord. The Lord said, I had a dream. You are the only one who have dreams. I, 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 brother, I, I had a dream about you. Where's that dream coming from? Who is the source of that dream? What motivated that dream? When they recognized that they could not stop him, they came through a prophetic sense. Spiritual distractions. There are some distractions, it has the name of Jesus on it. There are some distractions, it is tagged with Holy Ghost. There are some distractions, it's tagged by kingdom. And because you are so much invested in kingdom, you think everything kingdom is for you. Some are spiritual distractions. Do you know how you overcome spiritual distractions in Goni? You become discerning. You need what we call the spirit of what? Discernment. May God give it to us. Amen. Your amen is too low. I said, may God give it to us. Amen. I said, may God give it to us. You see, you see, what I'm teaching you is not what helps you to build. It's what helps you to defend what you are building. Accept the Lord build a house. Deliver in vain those who build. But God does not end there. Accept the Lord watches over the house. The watchmen watch in vain. Nehemiah's hand was building. But there was a part of Nehemiah that was defending what he was building. When they cannot stop you from building, they will distract you from continuing. Don't be a laboring man and not be a defender. No matter, look, put Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Luis Figo, Zinedine Zidane, R9, Ronaldinho. Put all of these guys in the team without a goalkeeper and a defender. Let them score a million goals, they will lose. Sometimes we are very good at building, but we don't know what to watch out for. To not stop us from building. What I'm teaching you today are things that will sustain what is being built. Am I making sense here? Destruction or spiritual type of destruction. Write this thing down. One of Satan's main agenda is to break your focus. He wants to break your focus, young woman. He wants to break your focus, young man. The enemy wants to distract you. The enemy wants to bring you in such a place where what God has started in you will not be completed, but that will not be your story. I said, what you have started, you would finish. I said, what you have started, you would finish. I said, what you have started, you would finish. Write this thing that there would always be opposition. You can't avoid it. You cannot. You cannot. Opposition. I called for this. I called one guy and I lambasted him hard. Esther, did you hear the story about upper room? You heard the story. Oh. It, it is not, Rebecca, you are naive if you think everybody likes what you are doing. The truth of the matter is that you cannot avoid it. 
the only way to avoid this is to not do anything. You cannot avoid it. What are the forms in which the enemy distracts and write these things? That number one, radical. You 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 released your first project, they start laughing at it. <laughs> one, I was invited to one program here some years back. And in this program, I was called to release the mind of God. I released the mind of God. Powerful meeting. So powerful. Then, when I got home, the one who invited me told one of my sons that the English, British, educated, anointed gatekeepers of the UK, the men that God has called, gathered and said, oh, the word is not from God. God will not speak like this. This guy, where is he coming from? Boom. <laughs> I said to the guy, I said, I am a focused man. I don't have time to reply. Now, the people in that caucus, the people in that caucus, they openly write, this is the man called by God. This is the man sent by God. This man is sent for a nation. This man is an apostolic, uh, this and that and that and that and that. When I kept silent, in a matter of months and years, they've changed their testimony. Now, whose credibility is on the line? The work speaks. The work speaks. Jesus said, if you don't believe in who I am, at least believe in what I do. The biggest way to silence those who ridicule you is results. As you are speaking, some of them don't even have church. I'm not saying I'm happy. I build this camera, don't break it. But don't lose your head because somebody said what you are building is not good. Radical. It's not good enough. His English is not good enough. Who told you his English? One person said, I did not come to you with enticing words of men. One preacher said, Oh, you have an accent. Yeah, I have an accent. <laughs> I'm not in denial. I do. Thank God for your Britishness. Foolishness. Unnecessary things. Do you understand? But let let a preacher from Romania come and speak English. He's anointed. Radical. You built your first. You, you designed your first T-shirt. They say, "Oh, it's not nice enough." The truth of the matter is that there is nothing you do that will be good enough for people. You must know to whom you do it for and why you do it. I'm asking you to somebody here. So radical reproach. Obafemi, me, intimidation. Don't let anybody who are young. Intimidation. There are certain people they they would intimidate you. But you Paul would say you must be steadfast and immovable. The Lord will say to Jeremiah, do not be afraid of their faces. Huh? The more they squeeze their face, preach better. <laughs> There's certain anointing, it is provoked by squeezed face. Intimidation. Criticism. Some people, their mission in this kingdom is to criticize. They are the auditor generals in this kingdom. Criticisms. Oh, Arita is singing. Her key is too high. If her key is too high, you sing a low key. Petra. She's always with, she's always with the boy. Who should she be with? (laughs) 
great. This is every day Christian comes to church. He's having a bag at his back. Is it your bag? <laughs> Christian, what? Did you bring the bag today? Hey, look, you see the bag. <laughs> Ask somebody, is it your bag? Criticism will let you hide when you need to show forth. Criticism will tell you that nothing you are doing is good enough. Criticism will tell you hide and polish it so well before you release it. And me and patience were going through here some old videos. I said it's okay, just it's okay, just just archive it. You've grown. Criticism. They would attempt to discredit you. Nothing you do is good. As long as it is you, it's not good. Have you ever come across something like that before? Everything is good until your name is mentioned and all of a sudden it's not good. They would attempt to discredit you. And the objective is to lessen the effect of your testimony. All your work. How do I master focus? How do I gain mastery? Brian, are you listening to what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And I saw Petra fighting on WhatsApp. This girl, she likes fight. She was telling people, yeah, if I will use my fuel to drive from Birmingham to come to church in, in London, what's your problem? <laughs> Petra was openly fighting because people are criticizing that. Why would you drive? Is there no church in Birmingham? These people that are talking about that there are clubs in Birmingham, they come to London for clubbing. Yeah. I thought you were going to club. Some of them they, they travel from Birmingham to go and look for girlfriends in Manchester. Manchester Cradia is close. Amsterdam, Belgium, Ghana. Some of them are maintaining long distance relationships. It's not too far. Are there no men in Birmingham? Are there no women in Birmingham? Oh, I'm not, am I speaking or I'm not speaking? If the young lady would travel from Birmingham to church. Is it your church? Is it your oyster card? Is it your fuel? Somebody walked from Ethiopia to Jerusalem. Yeah, you are brainwashed. If the church in Birmingham is good for you, go. Petra has found a place that is good for her. Leave her alone. Criticism. Don't worry. If I'm preaching and you're sitting in front of me, I'll use you as an example. The only way I don't use you is that you don't have to sit here. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? How do we master focus? There are many girls from Ghana. He didn't find anybody than a girl from Ivory Coast. Is it your marriage? Is it your marriage? Where's Natalie? Where is she? Is she your wife? <laughs> you see, the crazy thing is some people feel too entitled. Some people feel too entitled. And when it doesn't go the way you want it, they criticize. And the objective is to cause you to lose. How you get mastery with focusing. I'm using the acronym FOCUS. F-O-C-U-S. 
focus. The first one is that fix your eyes on the price. Fix your eyes on the price. In other words, the only thing that you should be focused on is your destination. If you look left, you'll be distracted. If you look right, you'll be distracted. If you look back, you'll be distracted. The only way you look is forward. He said, one thing I do, forgetting that which is behind, is that I press on towards the price. Fix your eyes on the price. Michelle, do you understand what I'm going to say? Fix your eyes on the price. Don't take it off. In Goni, don't take it off. If you remove your eyes from the price, driving from Overhampton to London is too long. If you remove your eyes from the price, Joel, coming from Birmingham, if you remove your eyes from the price, eh, 40 days fasting is too much. But when you know what awaits you after the 40 days, <laughs> if, if, the Bible says, and Daniel purposed in his heart not to defile himself. In other words, he was focused and resolved. That he will not, you know, he was not going to desecrate himself with the food on the king's table. Daniel's eyes was on the price. You see, the essence of destruction is to take your eyes on the, from the price and focus on things that are irrelevant. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fix your eyes on the price. The objective, when we hear the trumpet sound, is to hear the Lord say, well done. You know the price? is to hear well done. Do you hear what I said? Joshua, the price is to hear what? Well done. That is the only thing our eyes would be filled. Looking unto Jesus, he said, consider he suffered such contradiction from sinners, lest you become weary and faint. Some people can fix their eyes on the price so much Evil price to do evil things. You, that is extremely anointed by the Holy Ghost and call for such a time as this. You can't keep your eyes on the price. So you want the end result, but you don't have the resolve to stay glued and focused. May God grant you focus in this season. Fix your eyes on the price. That is the F. The O. Only give attention to what gets the job done. Only. In other words, anything that gets the job done, I'm for it. I was one day listening to BBC News and a man who was a police intelligence officer in his, in his, in his quest to uncover a crime had to go and marry the wife of the man who had been murdered. And stayed with her for about 15 years. Be careful your enemy doesn't fall in love with you. It's true, it's a true story. 15 years. Because he's bent on, on covering and he got it. At the time, the woman was now taking her to court for emotional manipulation because she said that this guy, this police guy had successfully lured her into loving him just to uncover the secret behind what caused that woman's husband to die. The enemy can marry you for 50 years just to finish you. If marriage was going to get the man to get the job done, he was for it. You should only give attention to what gets the job done. If it gets the job done, be for it. But if it does not get the job done, don't give your attention to it. I'm asking you to somebody here. 
So if anybody comes to you and say, Obafemi, your question should, to yourself should be, how does this thing help me to get this work done? If it doesn't help you to get the work done, again, only give attention to what gets the job done. Your attention is on too many things which are unnecessary. The C, how do we stay focused? Write it down. Constantly remind yourself of your why. Your why. Constantly. Charles, why, why do you want to build ODT? Why? Jesse, why are you going on evangelism? You have to remind yourself. Because you see, if you don't remind yourself of why, that guy who met you on the street, what they will say to you won't go next week. One of the things that gets me out of bed every morning, the why? It's hard. Constantly remind yourself of the why. May you not lose the reason for which God has called you. I said, may you not lose the reason why God has called you. So the C, constantly remind yourself of your why. The U, unite only with people who help to get the work done. Just because people are good does not mean they are good for my assignment. I can't be everybody's friend. Yes or no? Oh, talk to me. I cannot be. I'm only one man. You understand what I'm trying to say? Tomorrow, you will fight with me because you, I'm your friend. You wanted me as a friend and I, I chose you. We became friends, but I can't give you attention. I can't be everybody's friend. Only unite with people who help to get the work done. In as much as Nehemiah resisted the advances of Sambalat and Tobias and stuff like that, he had other people he was united with. One of them was called a man called Judah. Jeremiah will tell him, Jeremiah, for the Judah came to him and said, the work has become difficult and we are unable to advance because the rubbish is too much. Judah had eye for why the building is not advancing. Nehemiah had people in his camp. Have people in your camp, but make sure there are people that can help you. Get the work done. There are some of you, you are surrounded by people who can't offer any help. You have too many people around you, good people, but they can't help you. Do you know what those people are? Hebrews 12 calls them weight. They are weight. Some of you have to burst your balloon and let some people fall off. Only unite with people who help to get the work done. S, the final one. Spiritual strength is a necessity if you would accomplish what you are building. Spiritual strength is a necessity. If you stayed in the hammer, you recognize that any time he was threatened, he prayed. There has been days the only thing that kept me going was prayer. And when I could not pray for myself, I employ people to pray on my behalf. There are certain days if you want to pray, prayer doesn't come. Have you been there before? Go and ask Joe. That is when you need to have people around you. One, one, one time, I was hit so hard. Spiritually, that I couldn't do anything. Patients just picked up the phone and called my spiritual father, Reverend Yaku. Something like that. Oh, I think I called Reverend Yaku and patience was like, I was just on the verge of calling him. Reverend Yaku, my father just picked up the phone. He said, son, let's pray. He didn't take five minutes. The authority of the father is heavy. Maybe that's one of the shortest prayers I've heard in my life. After he was done, I could physically see arrows being pulled away from my 
chest from my back. It, it was like I was shot everywhere. I was losing blood. I was just, I could see like every energy and intensity was diffusing out of my body. It just took him to just pray for me. And I could literally see arrows being just pulled and pulled. And I remember just lying there and I told patients, I'm okay. There are days she would tell you, I'll just come and say, just lay hands on me. Just pray for me. Just pray for me. Because you see, spiritual strength is a necessity. And that is why you must have people around you that when you, when the dark days come, there are days you find, you look for words, you won't find it. And you recognize that all the friends around you are only good for let's go and eat. All they bring on your table is a photograph of lobster. A photograph of lobster and some salmons on your plate. When the evil days come, don't have what it takes. I'm not saying you don't need let go and eat friends. But also make sure that within your circle, you have people that have that spiritual strength because it is what a necessity. Be on your feet. Say to yourself, I'm building a great work. work. You're not confident. I said, say to yourself, I am building a great work. I cannot be distracted. Listen, if you want to go far, don't give your ear to gossip. teaching you may sound simple. It is a defense mechanism. Tatiana, do you hear what I'm trying to say? It's one thing to build. It is another thing to sustain. Remember, except the Lord builds the house. Not just that, except the Lord watches. Somebody is going to give 50 reasons why EK cannot be sent. If you hear it, it will worry you. Kill your ears to it. Nobody came in the, in the womb with a mic. Relen. Do you understand what I'm going to say? Relen. Relen. What you don't hear does not disturb you. What you don't hear, it does not disturb you. See no evil. Hear no evil. Do no evil. Speak no evil. Focus. Sometimes people ask me, ah, are you, are you living in this city? Yes. And you don't know, no. What I want to know, I will know. What I don't want to know, I will not know. And I don't know because I don't want to know. I don't May your attention be fully given to God. I said, may your attention be fully given to God. Why? Because you are building such a great work. May you not labor in vain. Tell God, give me the spiritual tenacity. Tell God, fix my eyes on the price. Tell the Lord, save me from distractions. Tell the Lord, only help me to be focused. Talk to him. He that puts his hands on the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom. In other words, as you labor, don't look back. As you labor, be focused. As you labor, do not be distracted. Tell God, help me. Tell the Lord, 
Help me not to lose focus. Focus, focus, focus. Tell the Lord, help me fix my gaze on you. Help me fix my gaze on the price. Tell yourself what I've started, I'll finish. And that which I'm about to start, I will begin. Tell yourself, whatever my hand starts, I would bring it to completion. Fix your eyes on the price. Only give attention to what gets the job done. Focus! Gain mastery of it. He said, she said, Father, let it not break my spirit. Let criticism not break my spirit. Let distractions, Father, not break my spirit. The great work I've led my hands to give me what is needed and required to build. Let me not answer every criticism. Let me not look for so let me not look for a reason for everything that is said. Help me to focus my energy. If you are here, you are building anything. You are building a business. You are pastoring. You are building a movement. You are building anything. You want to ask God, God, strengthen my mind. Strengthen my mind. Give me mental fortitude. Give me mental fortitude, Lord. Give me mental fortitude. mental fortitude give me mental fortitude tell the Lord help me to be strong in the mind he said be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind be strong in the law. Tell the Lord, help me to be strong. Help me to be immovable. Help me to be steadfast. If your emotions are weak, tell the Lord, give me mastery over my emotions. Because the enemy would capitalize on it against what I'm building. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost. In this season of laboring, we need strong minds. Makashada makatala makapa. Come on, continue to pray. Strengthen my mind. Strengthen my heart. Strengthen my emotions. Holy 
Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue praying. Continue praying. Makata la makapara basha. Let's continue praying, Lord, my mind. Lift up your two hands. The reason why the Lord told me to talk about this. He said, after what happened last week about sending men, the enemy is going to fight them from keeping focus. The devil does not attack you until you start something. The devil is afraid of liberating men. If you don't want anybody to talk about you, don't do anything. The day you set your hands to build, the Sambalat and the Tobias and the Geshem would arise. Lift up your two hands. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Grant, me Grant me a strong mind. Strong mind. Say Holy Spirit. Give me mastery over my emotions. Say, Holy Spirit, fix my eyes on the price. Say, Holy Spirit, make me immune to gossips criticisms and accusations. Say, Holy Spirit, surround me with like-minded men and women. Say, Holy Spirit, whatever you start with me. Let the grace to accomplish it, to finish it, be granted unto me. Say, Holy Ghost, take over my mind, take over my heart, take over my feelings, take over my emotions, and direct them towards you only and nothing else. I hear the Lord said there are certain people that have to surrender their emotions to me. They ought to surrender their emotions to me. If not, the enemy would use it to hurt them. Say Holy Spirit, I surrender my emotions to you. To you. To you. Just for 30 seconds, tell him I surrender these emotions to you. Surrender it. Anybody here under the sound of my voice who started a great work but was distracted and has left it, may God give you grace to go back to what you couldn't finish. Distractions by associations, distractions by gossip, 
spiritual distractions. It will not stop us because we will be steadfast. We will become immovable and we would always be abounding when it comes to the work of God. Even so, Lord, help us. For if you don't help us, we cannot. If you don't help us, we would fail. If you don't help us, we would fall along the way. And that is why, Spirit of the living God, beginning from myself and to everyone here, to those watching online and to those who would watch later. Give us the grace that is required to be focused in this season. Let nothing take our attention away from you. Let nothing take our attention away from the price. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated. I Let the Holy Ghost take over our mind. Spirit move over my mind. Spirit move over my mind. Move over my emotions. I want to convert prayer for just five minutes of your time be on your feet God willing on Wednesday myself and some other people we are going to Indonesia there is a lot going on but we must go and do the work amen we are going to fly over the territory of Israel and Iran you know what's happening there Dubai is flooded. We are doing transit there. There is an earthquake in Indonesia. There is volcanoes, but we have to be there. We are not going on vacation. The work must be done. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If I had the chance, I would say let us postpone it. But the work must go. If beyond that, it's, it's the only place I'm going that I'm just taking a restricted number of because it's an entirely Islamic nation. So that means that you have to be circumspect in how you go about this business. If you go and take too many people and they misbehave, you'll be locked. You understand what I'm trying to say? But this gospel must reach the ends of the earth. We don't, we don't go where it is conducive. We go where we are sent. There are people in there, thousands waiting for us. Thousands upon thousands. And I want the church to stand with us in prayer until we come back. You understand what I'm trying to say? 
on Wednesday you'd have a normal service but dedicate time for prayer stay with us in prayer until we come back so that the word of God would have its maximum impact in the nation of Indonesia we are going to multiple cities we are meeting pastors we are building pastors we are building young people old people and it will require a lot of prayer I want us to pray. Those of you who are traveling with me, I want you to come forward. We would bring the rest, even though they are not here in prayer. But if you are, if you are traveling, go, go, there, go to where the altars are. Straight forward your hands towards them. Where is Natalie? Pastor Henry is coming with us. Pastor Elvis is coming with us. Melissa, Elizabeth. Nathalie. Pray that God will use these people. In Indonesia. Like I said, we are building a strong work. We cannot be distracted. Pray for God's covering. Let his blood. Let his, let his angels go ahead of us. Let each and every one of them be protected, be preserved. Let every plan of the enemy be nullified. From Dubai to Bali to Makassar to Solo City every car, every flight, every bus, their food, their hotels. I'm not hearing you. Lift up your voice. I want you to treat this with all seriousness. Constantly, Paul will remind the church, pray for us that all trust may be given. People don't know how difficult this work is. As we fly over the territory of Israel and Iran, nothing would happen. As we step into Dubai, nothing would happen. As we enter Indonesia, nothing would happen. Tell God to use these young men and women, including Pastor Henry, Pastor Elvis, Melissa, Elizabeth. Let grace be given to them. They've decided to do the work of missionaries. They are spending their money, their time, their effort. The least we can do for them is to pray for them. Contend with any agenda of the enemy. Contend with any agenda of the enemy. Mashaya bakola brata. Eleme vele meko shada bakata. Lama zuni mi valo brako sede bekapa. Makole bekeba atala boho shada brako sede bekapa. Father, give us grace. Give us grace for these uncharted waters. Give us this grace for this unknown territory. As it is said that in the city of Ephesus, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Let it be said in the nation of Indonesia, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. This, look, look, Enoch and his wife they were, which country were you going to? 
They were going to Mauritius for their honeymoon. I said, cancel it. Come with me to missions in Indonesia. They said, yes, sir. So they canceled their honeymoon in Mauritius to follow me. So I said to them, you go with me. When we finish, we leave you there. Take two days, then do honeymoon and come back. These are people who are completely If they told you, use your honeymoon to go on missions, you say, Pastor, you are doing too much. I told him, I said, cancel that one Mauritius, cancel it. Come with me. Now come with me to Indonesia. When we finish, we will leave you there. Two days, come back. That is what I'm trying to say. The least we can do for such people, Arita, is to pray. Do you understand? Some of you should make it a priority this week to say, unto, you know, as they go, we are fasting and we are praying for them. This is how somebody has chosen to do their honeymoon because they've been called. When, when you are called, this thing is a soldier work. Yes, sir, we go. I don't have time to negotiate conversations. If you want to go and kiss your family goodbye, by the time you come, we've moved. You understand what I'm trying to say? Some of you should just call them and say, guys, your, your food is on us. Take this $50, $100, dollars They are equally also doing the work of missions. The upper room board for this mission alone, we are spending nothing less than 20,000 euros. And we are not bringing a penny back because you don't go to Indonesia to go and do missions and raise offering. They're not going to raise offering. You don't go and raise offering. You lose. You lose them. We are spending not less than 20 grand on this. Only Pastor Kofi's ticket to there is about 10,000 Canadian dollars. Do you understand? Because you see, we would have to go to every extent possible to ensure that this kingdom advances. I thought you were clapping. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, keep us in prayer. If there's anything that you feel like you can support with, you know, get in touch. You may not go, but your sense, pennies, and things like that can go. Some of these guys, they are They've just started work. They don't have money and stuff. Help mission work. It would go a long way to advance. In, in May, we'll be going to Canada. And that one is a safe ground. So as many as you want to go is open. From June, we'll be in New Jersey, in America. As many as you want, we will go. But this Indonesia one is capped. Keep them in prayer. Let us go and do this work and come back safely. Amen. God bless you. Go back to your seats. Somebody asked me, said, how does patience do this? I said, I don't know. You need to ask her. If you have your tithe, come forward. If you have tithe, come forward. Cheryl, it's good to see you. Where's Trishel? Trish, is that you? Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we are grateful for surrendered men and women. He said we should bring our tithe into your storehouse and so have we done. As your sons and daughters have done this, open up the windows of heaven. Pour out your blessings upon them. And cause these ones not to lack. We thank you, Father, for doing this. In Jesus' name, amen. You can give. If you want to pay by card, you can go to the back. If you want to scan, you can. Let us also take our offering. Don't come and not give an offering. If you want to give an offering, the bowl is going to be here. You can also scan the QR code. Daniela, just sing the song. Is Daniela here?
would you light in me a fire? Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn for you. Cause you are my desire So I burn, so I burn, so I burn for you Oh, would you light in me a fire Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn You are my desire So I burn So I burn So I burn for you I, 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 I. Oh We are still taking the, the, how do they call it, the donations for the Haggai project. The building, it's advancing very well. I forgot to remind, but I told you that I'm going to take some departments with me. This completely escaped me. The choir, have I taken you guys there? Good. So after church, I'm going to take you guys with me. If you're not going to eat and you have time, you can come with us. We'll go there. Amen. So when I come back, when I come back on that Sunday, what's the name of your team? Integrations. We all go when I come back. So that's going to be somewhere around the 4th, that 4th feet of May integrations will come with me. So choir, because it's a late notice, if you have something to do, you can, but if you don't, just jump into somebody's car and come with us. Um, so like I said, if you pay, make sure that you reference HP 2024. And please, if you've pledged, try to be faithful. The Bible says God does not like foolish vows. Amen. Um, Ellie, is it this Tuesday? That's the beginners, what's the name? Foundational school. So if you are here, I completely understand that as a church we may have advanced a lot of the things that we are teaching that may not necessarily be good for somebody who is more of a new convert. However, I also understand that some of us, even though we have moved on to deeper things, we don't really have foundations. Foundations is the legs upon which you stand, okay? I remember about some few weeks ago, I was talking about the subject of doctrine. So if you're here and you say, listen, I'm eating meat and I'm going heavy and things, but I still want to get the basics of this work with God. We have a foundational school by Pastor Eliud and Tatiana. So every Tuesday from 7, from 7 o'clock, they are going to be here. If you have time, and you want to be part of this foundation school, come around and it's going to help. Um, home sale, we were going to do it last year, but I paused it because it was around the winter time. It gets, I know that it, it gets dark early. I didn't even want people going to people's house and it's late and people bring in all of these kind of things. So I wanted the weather to just become good, like during the summertime and then we start. So God willing, in June, our home sale meetings are going to begin. The whole of May, the home sale teachers are going to be meeting to build up themselves. And in June, home sale would begin. I understand that not everybody is so happy with a bigger 
you know, congregation and audience. Sometimes you just need five people in a small circle that you can grow along with. So we would communicate these centers to you. But if you are here and you are saying, I have a house, I have a space, you know, I can take some five people, some four people, some six people, you know, as a home cell group where I live. When we close, see Eliud, Eliud, lift up your hand. Not everybody knows you. And Tatiana, Tatiana, be on your feet. So look for this slim guy or this beautiful girl. See them. Stand up, stand up, let them see you. Stand up, let them see you. You are single, stand up. <laughs> so see her, that's Tatiana. <laughs> see them and then let them know, you know, where you are offering and they will basically take it on board and communicate it to us and we will get back to you. Amen? Get to know two people before you leave. I'm talking about two people you don't know. Thomas, don't get to know Aretha. I'm talking about people you don't know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Look at this young lady. Do you know her? Do you know her? As soon as church close, go straight to her. Find out who her name is. Okay? I've showed you. You turn back. Turn back. Do you know her? Do you know her? Do you know her? So as soon as church finishes, straight. I'm doing mapping. I'm doing mapping. Okay? So the moment church is done, find two people. You see... Some of these instructions are simple, but it will take some of you to hell. You think you're going to hell for fornication? No, you're going to hell because you're not listening to simple instruction. It's simple. I said just go to somebody. Vincent. Look at this lady. Do you know her? Uh -huh. When women, we don't look far. Women, we close. Go to Do you know this one too? I've given you your two. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? The, getting to know people is not integration's duty. Do you understand? Integrations, can I have some 50 pounds for that? <laughs> Every one of us have a responsibility to make people feel welcome. Brian, turn your back. Turn your back. Do you know her? Do you know this pretty young lady? You don't know. Do you know this one? 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 Do you know that one? You see this four? The moment you close, grab all of them. Get to know. Clap for Brian. Everybody is two. You are four. So when we share the grace, get to know two people. You understand? God bless you. Be on your feet. May the Lord maintain your focus in this week. May you not be distracted. Amen. May you not descend from the good work you are building. Whatever your hand finds to do this week, may God help you to bring it to accomplishment. Amen. Nothing the enemy sends your way would, would fland on target. This week you would be a tool in the hands of the Lord. Amen. You would labor for his name and his kingdom's sake. I ask that God would surround you and camp around you this week. Amen. That no arrows of destruction shot against you would land on target. You are blessed and you are highly favored. In Jesus' name, the saints shall say amen. amen. Let's share the grace now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the 2-2 begin.